inundated with unrighteous judgments in this world. Yes. Every day. You're never going to get away from it. Right. Every day. Right? But the way we're saved from that in our soul is by fellowshipping with the judgment of God. Right? Which saves us from all the unrighteous judgments. I mean, Becky and I got that forever because we don't have any kids. Mm. You know? Mm. And so that's a big, what? What's going on? Why don't you have any kids? You know, everybody wants to know. And then when all of our friends started having kids and we didn't have any kids, it's like, what's wrong with you? Right? Judgment. Right? But what happened was, man, God would come and strengthen us on the inside and remove that judgment. Now we don't even consider or think about it. We don't really care what anybody else considers or think about it anymore either. Yeah. Right? And, and since I don't need to be justified in them, then their judgment means nothing to me. Right? right? What happens is the only reason why their judgment means something is because there might still be a part of me that's seeking to be justified in the world. Right? You're never going to get everybody to agree that you are as you ought to be. You're lucky if you get one person to agree. <laughs> Especially out of this room. And so if you're, if you're thinking salvation is going to come from being saved from people's judgments, are their judgments changing? No. Or if you think I'm subject to their judgments, no. Their judgments aren't going to change. But in your heart, you're caring about their judgments can change. Then you don't care. Right? You're just...